Professor Plum. So he'll be the fourth session of our tattoo sleeve. I've always played Clue in different types of games as a kid, so I decided to stick with board games. All my tattoos are all random. They don't really have a theme except for my Clue sleeve that I'm starting. I'm Scandinavian, so I have a lot of Viking and Swedish stuff too and science theme, Jekyll and Hyde back piece and whatnot. A lot of my tattoos are family oriented because I figured if I get family tattoos I won't get yelled at by my mom. I come into the shop once a month because I abuse George's religions. I'm like, tattoo me now, and he does. Um, and plus, I am a show off, so whenever I'm out in public I'm always wearing like a tank top, so I'm like, hey look, I got tattoos. So I'm like, give me more, so I look cooler and everybody wants to be my friend. Yeah, I get tattoos to be cool, whatever. George has explained it to me that he's only doing the clothing a little bit because um, he's going to have to obviously blend it all together because it's going to be a sleeve. It's one of the easiest ones so far because I haven't been bent like halfway over and tumbled around. Usually I lose feeling in a part of my body and usually I get tingling sensations in inappropriate places. <laughs> That's not pleasant. He's really paying great attention and detail to the faces. I mean, it's incredible how they've looked so far, as I will show you. I mean, they look like real people even though they're totally right off of a board game. I mean... People keep asking me if they're my family members, and I just tell them, yeah, my name is Ashley Mustard. Like, that was my granddaddy. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> no, George did a great job like usual and I can't wait for our next session to get uh, either Mrs. White or Miss Peacock done and my Professor Plum is awesome!